Engineers at the University of Utah want to give an upper limb amputees an upper hand at AI. Uh, as Peter Rosen reports, they've given a prosthetic limb a mind of its own. Researcher Marshall Trout doesn't really have to think about how to push a key or how to hold a mouse, but for Sam Matangi, it's not that simple. Like other people who've lost hands, he's tried more advanced prosthetics. A lot of patients that have an upper limb amputation get a bionic hand and then end up abandoning it. Because you've got all these different robotic joints on a prosthesis and you're trying to control each one of those at the same time and it's just so much information to juggle. It takes a lot of thought. It takes a lot of thought, yeah. That's why at the Utah Neurorobotics Lab, Trout retrofitted this commercial bionic hand with optical and touch sensors and AI. When those sensors see an object, a piece of paper, they'll move the fingers until just the point of making contact and then they stop. It reaches out and just barely makes contact. And asked Matangi to try it out. When using signals from his muscles, he had total control of the hand, no AI or sensors, and tried to pick up a paper cup. He couldn't. But when Matangi and AI shared control, it feels like, like you have an assistant. Like I have my phone and it's an assistant. We found that with machine assistance, people were less distracted. Patients were able to manipulate objects with a greater degree of precision and dexterity. It's like you have a crane operator inside your arm. <laughs> I love to climb poles and be up high. Since he lost his hands in a power line accident at work, Matangi, who he profiled about a dozen years ago, has spent much of his time on social media. Hey, it's me, the no-handed bandit. As the no-handed bandit, teaching other amputees how to... Hello, it's me, I'm Mario. Cutting a turkey with hooks. Sometimes the knife comes out. Live. Don't quit living. Don't quit trying to do things the way you used to do it. Ready. He says early on he dreamed at night about having hands, but has since grieved and accepted his loss. Though still remains hopeful. It's always like a hope to have a Luke Skywalker hand, right? There's some finer task that he still has a hard time with that I think a bionic hand would help someone like him. Hopeful that with help from folks like Marshall Trout, someday he won't need to give the tasks of everyday living a second thought. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. That is fascinating, Peter. Thank you.